Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so onto volume four we go of the Film Vault collection. So for this video, I'm going to be unboxing 1917. Now I've seen this movie once before and I was blown away by it. I actually got it off a friend of mine on 4K, but I've never picked it up myself. And when this label actually announced this movie, I knew I was going to get this one. And uh, regardless of what I thought of the set, the actual editions themselves, I was always going to get this movie uh, on 4K. I just wanted to get a good release for it because it's just that good. The way it was shot, Sam Mendes done such a wonderful job on this movie. Uh, it just, I don't know how they've done it, but it just looks like it's one continuous shot. And if Mervy, memory serves me right, I think there's only one scene where they kind of, where it cuts. And uh, that is some feat when you think about it. And no wonder... The movie got an Oscar for Best cin Cinematography, uh, and it's rightly, rightly deserved as well. You will not fully understand what you're watching until you actually do see this movie. I regard it as one of my favourite war movies out there as well, and I think it's highly underrated. It never gets talked about for some strange reason, and I do not know why. And to see it get this kind of treatment is truly, truly special. Now, as far as I remember with the 4K transfer, the transfer uh, it does rival some of the best out there, and the Dolby Atmos, again, rivals some of the best as well. It's a stunning 4K release, and uh, great now to finally get this in my hands. Right, so I'm going to take his around this, and I'm going to show you everything that's inside this set. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Right, so here we go, 1917. So just like my last videos, I am going to just show you the slipcover first, uh, then I'll remove it and show you the artwork properly. Uh, but as you can see, just like the other releases, this is uh, Vault 004. And of course, you've got 1917 on the bottom right-hand corner. Unfortunately, like I said in my previous videos, these are not stickers. They're part of the slipcover. And uh, yeah, uh, I know, again, I'm always saying it. I know it's going to annoy some people, but it just does not bother me. So uh, that is the, yeah, that is the slip anyway. And then I'm going to take us around to the spine of this one. And then I am going to take us right around to the back and give you an idea of everything that you get in this set. So uh, yeah, there's every item that you get in each one of these sets. They all have very unique. It's not just simply postcards. There's a bit more to them. And uh, that's always, again, a welcome uh, addition uh, to releases like this. So uh, yep, yeah, that is the back of the slip. And uh, yeah, both sp uh, spines are the exact same and of course nothing at the top or bottom. So that's just a close look at the slip. I'm going to just remove it and then I will take it onto the actual main box itself. So here we go. So again, so uh, the one thing I have to give credit for when it comes to this vault series is the artwork that they've used for each one of the releases. They look they look absolutely amazing. I can't, I can't stress it enough. They have done such a wonderful job on these. Uh, there's no kind of, there's no spot loss, and it's just an all matte finish. And I'm always saying that in each one of my really, that one of these releases, it just has a classy look to them. And uh, yeah, I can't praise it enough. So that is the yeah main artwork for the set. And of course, just like every other release, the kind of the artwork continues onto the spines, as you can see, and then right around to the back, and of course. You've got one of the, the main lads from the movie itself. And they all that's they all have the similar, you know, they have the one of the main actors on the back of the box. And then you have a very unique looking artwork for the main the main cover itself. So there you have it, folks. That is the uh the main box itself. And uh yeah, blown away by it. Right, so let's open this one up. And uh as per usual, we'll start with the left hand side. And uh yeah, you just got a quote there from the movie itself. And then this one here is your, your envelope, which I'm going to take out now and show it to you. So time is the enemy. And of course, you got 1917. Yeah, again, spot glossing going on with the 1917. All the writing has spot glossing going on. And uh, yeah, again, that word classy just comes to mind. So uh, yeah, nothing else going on with this. Uh, nothing on the spines at the top of the bottom. And then there we go, uh, the 18th division. So simple, very simple massively effective right so let's open this up and see what's inside this one right uh, is that everything out of that yep right so we are going to start with this first i think these two cards these two cards actually go in here 
uh, but they keep falling out. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to show you this first. I think this is meant to be like a almost like a tobacco a tobacco pouch. So, uh, but only for those two pictures inside it instead of tobacco. So uh, that's a close look at it there. And again, always great to see unique items like this uh, in each one of the sets. There's always something different. So, uh, and again, I love that kind of aged look that they have going on in this. So yeah, open this up. There was two pictures inside it. So you got, uh, I think it's one of the boys, it's a wife and children. And right on the back of it, you, one of them has uh, come, ho uh, come back to us. So uh, yeah, that is really nice. And again, they look amazing. They really do. Again, a nice gloss finish to them. Yeah, really do like that. So right, so that's a few of the, just a couple of family portraits or pictures or whatever you want to say they are. And uh, yeah, so a couple, a couple more postcards here. Uh, and I think that's Colin Furt, as like, far as I can make out. And then, of course, you got a quote uh, from him. So uh, that's the first of these smaller postcards. Now onto the second one. That's definitely Benedict Cumberbatch. Uh, I've only seen this movie once, and I remember being just blown away by it. And uh, I was looking for an excuse to revisit it. And uh, yeah, I can't think of a better excuse now. So here we go. This is our third of four, I think it is. And then right around to the back. And then on to our last one. There we go. And then right around. And of course you get one more quote though. So there you have it. That is four uh, little kind of character postcards. And then on to these ones here. And uh, these are the ones that are real, real quality. I'm always saying that in each one of these releases. But they, these do just feel amazing. I can't stress it enough. So, uh, right, that is the artwork for the, I think that was the original cover. And again, just like the Scarface release, they kind of show you, you know, a bit of a write-up of the movie. This is showing you the, uh, you know, the amount of Academy Awards it won. Uh, and it shows BAFTAs there as well. So, uh, yeah, all just, again, slightly, slightly different than the, the previous release when it comes to these cards. So, here's another one here. And uh, yeah, that's that looks fantastic. That's that's a great segment of the movie as well. Uh, honestly, cannot wait to sit there and watch them. And then, of course, you got a bit of trivia there as well. So, right, that's the second one. I think there's four of these all together. And I presume that's Sam Mendes. Yeah, I think it actually is. Uh, and they always throw in one kind of behind the scenes uh, shot as well. Uh, I think this one actually might have two, funny enough. So uh, there you go, that's a bit of trivia there. I hope he's can make that out. I'll just actually bring it in a bit closer in case he's can't. So uh, yep, that is the back of the third postcard and then off onto our last one. So uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, you got a few of the sound guys here <laughs> with their mics kind of hanging over uh, the trenches. So uh, yeah, that's a very unique looking uh, picture, it has to be said. So right around to the back and there we go. That is the, yeah back of the last one so there you have it that is all the postcards and uh, little trinkets that you get inside this set and then onto the the main release and as you can see there's a bit of a kind of a green kind of color scheme uh, going on in this one so uh, again it just I can't stress how perfectly uh, they fit in it just looks yeah looks stunning right so let's start with the discs and again the one thing about the discs as well on each release i just love the simplicity of all the artwork on them and it just it works so well it's yeah it's, it's amazing it really really is so you just got simply 1917 you just got spot glossing going on in the 1917 and that's it uh yeah and i think it's just meant to be kind of on a bit of fabric and apologies for my phone going off there <laughs> um so uh yeah nothing on the spines of it and then take us around to this back of it and yeah there you just got a kind of a hole i think that's what it's meant to be i think it's meant to be the soldiers uh the soldier's uniform so there we go so let's open this up and uh we will start with the the artwork uh for the discs so here we have it so it's just a shot from the movie itself again an all high gloss finish on these cases as well and then turn this around to the opposite side. So there you go. That's the two. I think that's the two lads. The two main stars of the movie. As far as I remember. And then turn this around. And show you the, uh, the discs themselves. So uh, let me see if I can just turn this disc. If it will turn. Let me just take it out actually. You know what? I'm not going to try and do that. <laughs> do that on the camera. I'll be afraid. I'll do something to the disc. So there you go. You've got a quote from the movie as per usual. 
Uh, you got your 4K disc there. You got your Blu-ray disc. And uh, I think behind the pictures is just the two characters from the movie. And then there we go. That is the other side of it there. So that is the discs themselves. And uh, let me just put these, put this away. Hopefully this will go in okay. Yes. For once, it goes in very easy. And uh, right, put that away. And then onto my favorite part of the box set. As you know by now, it's your unique number plate. And it's done in this kind of crystal plate. And again, folks, I have to stress, I can't stress this enough. The weight of this is extraordinary. It is so well made. So I have 2,713 of 3,000. Again, you got just a soldier's helmet there as well. Of course, you got 1917. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm blown away by these unique numbers. Uh, and I really do want to see more uh, of this uh, in the future. And I really do hope they don't end with just these four uh, releases. So there you have it, folks. Again, I can't tell you how much I love uh, these sets. Everything about them, every single thing is uh, amazing. And uh, yes, like I said, hopefully, hopefully it will continue. So that is the 1917 edition. Right, folks, so there you have it. That is 1917. So up next is going to be volume one, funny enough, which is Blade Runner, because I just got it through the door today. And uh, really, I'm looking forward to doing that video and showing you that one. So that is it, folks. That is it. So as per usual, if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below. And again, share your thoughts on this release. And yes, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.